All right, let's try these questions with exponents. I've got x to the power of 4 all to the power of 3 divided by x to the power of 6 all to the power of 2. I can't do this divide yet because bed mass tells me I should do not the brackets because there's nothing to do inside the brackets. It's the exponents I need to do. And we learned before when you have an exponent on the exponent you multiply the exponents. x to the power of 4 all to the power of 3 is 4 times 3 which gives you 12. We'll do the same thing with the other terms. Here we have x to the power of 6 to the power of 2. Multiply the exponents, we get x to the power of 12. So we're left with x to the power of 12 divided by x to the power of 12. And when you're dividing same base, you just subtract the exponents. What's 12 take away 12? You get x to the power of 0. That is, I just subtracted the exponents because I was dividing by the same base and got x to the power of 0. And please remember, anything to the power of 0 is 1. That's my answer for 4b. For 4c, a little bit trickier here. I've got this exponent. I've got this exponent here. So that's a lot to work with. But I'm going to take it one step at a time. When I have an exponent on two things in the brackets, it's important to put the exponent on each thing. So I'm going to do 12 squared, and I'm going to do x to the power of 4 squared times, that's what that little dot means, 3 to the power of negative 3, that's the exponent out here, put it on the 3, now put this negative 3 on the x squared, so we get x squared all to the power of negative 3. Okay, one piece at a time, let's keep going, 12 squared, 12 times 12, 144, times x to the power of 4 to the power of 2, just like in the previous question, when I have a power on a power, I multiply the exponents, I get 144 x to the power of 8, times Okay, what do we do here? 3 to the power of negative 3. Whenever you see a negative exponent, the first thing you should do is put it under the line. A negative exponent is the same as 1 over the same term with the exponent made positive. That is, 3 to the negative 3 is equal to 1 over 3 to the power of 3 positive. We'll do the same here in a moment, but first I'd like to do, I have an exponent on an exponent, I could put it underneath again if I'd like. Well, let's do that. Let's go 1 over, just to keep it the same as the previous one, x squared to the negative 3 is the same as x squared to the positive 3. And you could have done it different ways. There are different steps, but that's how we're going to do it here. So we get 144 x to the power of 8 times 1 over 27 times 1 over x squared to the power of 3. Multiply the exponents, and I get x6. So I have 144 x to the power of 8 times 1 times 1. That's everything on the top. Now everything on the bottom. 27 times x to the power of 6. We're not quite done yet because we have to simplify. First thing I'll do is say, look, x to the power of 8 divided by x to the power of 6. That's easy. Just subtract 8 take away 6. I get x squared. But this fraction is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to need to think, what goes into 144 that goes into 27? Hmm. I know that 3 does. Does anything bigger? I think 9 does. I'm going to check on my calculator. I'm going to try dividing the top and dividing the bottom by 9. Let's see what we get. 144 divided by 9. 16, all right. That's good. And then 27, whatever I did to the top, I have to do the bottom. I knew that one. 27 divided by 9 is 3. So my answer is 16 over 3x squared, or you can write it as 16x squared over 3. They're equivalent. Both would be, oh, that's a really lousy box. But both would be perfectly acceptable answers.